Welcome to Meet the Press Now. I'm Kristen Welker in Washington, where we're expecting President Biden to officially announce he's seeking re-election as soon as tomorrow. NBC's White House team reporting that President Biden filmed portions of his re-election announcement video last weekend in Delaware. NBC News also reports Biden's campaign will be managed by Julie Chavez Rodriguez, a veteran of the Obama and Biden White Houses and granddaughter of labor leader Cesar Chavez. President Biden hinted at an upcoming announcement this afternoon at the White House. Are you ready to run again, Mr. President? And just moments ago, he told reporters at the White House once again to, quote, stay tuned. But our new NBC News poll shows a tough road ahead for the president's reelection bid. His presidential job approval is sitting at just 41 percent. That's the lowest we've measured for him since May. And only a quarter of Americans say he should run for a second term compared to 70 percent who say he should not. More than half of Democrats think Biden should sit out the 2024 presidential race. We've never seen those sorts of numbers for an incumbent president in modern politics. Nearly half of those who say Biden shouldn't run cite his age as a major reason. President Biden would be 82 on Inauguration Day. But top allies are dismissing Biden's age as an issue. Here's Senator Dick Durbin with Chuck on Meet the Press. He's with him time after time. His performance tells me he's up to the job and does it well. Uh, let's concede the obvious, what his age is. But let's look at the obvious. He is an active president who is meeting the challenges of America every day. But as we've heard Mr. Biden say dozens of times, don't judge me against the almighty, judge me against the alternative. He'll likely make that argument again. And a majority of respondents don't want to see the former president run again either in 2024. Neither Mr. Biden or Mr. Trump have high favorability numbers, but the president does have a clear, if small, advantage. He also doesn't have any notable primary challengers. While Mr. Trump, of course, has challengers from within his own party and critics like New Hampshire Republican Governor Chris Sununu sounding the alarm about his electability. Here's what he told Chuck yesterday. 25. We want a winner, right? Republicans want someone who can win in November of 24. Donald Trump is a loser. He has not just lost once. He lost us in uh, our House seats in 2018. He lost everything in 20. We should have 54 U.S. senators right now. We don't because of his message. So Donald Trump is positioning himself to be a four-time loser uh, in 2024. We need candidates that can win. But electability questions aside, Mr. Trump remains the clear frontrunner for the GOP nomination. He got a 15-point lead over Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in our poll. No other candidate is even polling above double digits. And the Republican Party is largely rallying around him amid his ongoing legal struggles. Nearly 7 in 10 Republicans say investigations into Trump are politically motivated and warrant supporting the former president, while just 1 in 4 say it's important to nominate a candidate that does not have legal distractions. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.